It's a great day to talk rehab here at Fabio Spine and Sports Rehab. It's Mike and the doctor. How you doing? Um, it's been trapezius muscle of the month. One of the things that we see all the time is chronic trapezius tightness leading to neck pain. In fact, just today I had a patient came in with severe arthritis in his neck, which has been there for many years, but now it's giving him this excruciating shoulder, upper back, neck pain. So much so they have them on narcotic medication. As we all know, that's very hard to get today. First thing we did once we examined him, we confirmed that nothing else was going on, is I taught him how to release the upper traps by getting him into a good, strong posture and pulling the wing bones back and down. We took the pressure off his traps. He goes, wow, I feel better already. Showing us how what happens, relax Mike, slouch a little bit, when we get the traps like this are under so much tension holding your head up, it creates an extreme amount of compression on the cervical spine. His arthritis has been there for probably 20 years, but finally sitting at the desk all day, caught up with them, and that's what created all the pain. So, we also have to get in there and break down those chronic knots. Yes, repositioning and getting into tall, strong posture is essential, but we have to break down those knots in the trapezius, upper trapezius muscle, because that's where the tightness has been so chronic that you just gotta help it get better. One of the ways we like to do that is with uh, radial shockwave therapy, and we're gonna show you how that works today. Mike, you wanna slip your shirt off? We're gonna take a little bit of gel, and we put it on the trap. The reason we use some gel is this is shock waves. It's like dropping water, I'm sorry, a pebble into water, and we want the ring of waves to go out. So yeah, we can do it through the shirt, we can do it right on the skin, but if you add some gel, it's better conduction of those radial waves, okay? Just like dropping a pedal in the water. The clinical protocols can be set for pain control. They can be set to, well, let's talk about that a little bit. Let's say he had a lot of pain. We set it up very high frequency. You're gonna hear some noise. Very high frequency, but not a lot of depth, not a lot of hertz, okay? Not a lot of bars of pressure. That's great for pain control. Let's say we wanna stimulate healing. We actually slow down the frequency and we increase the energy to get a little more depth of penetration and a little more compression. It's going to stimulate healing. Of course, it depends not just on the muscle, but on the area we're treating. Traps are pretty thick muscles. We don't want to be right on the bone, but we're talking about chronic trap tightness, where it's really knotted up and stiff, so we want to, what we use in the vernacular, use destruction. And destruction, ironically, is a very slow tapping, but with a very high energy. So tap slowly but very hard, all right? And that will stay on there. The duration of the treatment is anywhere from three to five minutes. It's based on the number of compressions. We wanna get anywhere between 1,500 and 3,000 compressions on an area. After we do that, it'll be a little sore for a day or so, which is really common, all right? Well, underneath the little silicone tap is the radial head that creates the compression, so that's what the unit looks like. So, what are the secrets we have in the office to get uh, chronic muscle knots loosened up? Great for in the traps and the levator scap, maybe that'll be the next muscle we talk about. And, uh, but we can use it for pain control, or we can use it to stimulate healing. And usually it's just a handful of sessions. So, for Mike, I'm Dr. D. Fabio. It's been a great day to talk rehab. It's muscle of the month, trapezius. Thanks for tuning in.